How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be taking you through how to use JavaScript in order to trigger your CSS3 transitions. So for example, we have this square on the page, right? And we want to make it so uh, when you click a button on the page just below the square, the square will fade away. So combining JavaScript and the CSS3 transition property, we can achieve this. So in the code, uh, we just simply have a div called square as a class. And in CSS, we have a width of 250, height of 250, a background color, and of course the transition property. So we're saying when the opacity changes, make it take two seconds. So we're gonna use JavaScript to then change this property. The transition will pick up on that change and then make it take two seconds. So we'll get right into it. Uh, below the square, we're going to add a button, give it a type of button, and we'll have a on click uh, attribute here that just says fade out, just like that. All right, I guess I'm just going to say maybe um, fade out as the text on the button. Let's just refresh this page, and we see fade out, boom, just like that. So now we're going to define this function right here. Before that, though, we'll just add an ID. So give this div an ID of square. Let's just say square one just for a bit of a change from the class name. So give it an ID of square one. Now using JavaScript, we're gonna define this fader function just inside the head up here. We can add a new script tag right here and make that function. We call it fade out, so fade out. Now in here, we're just gonna define a new constant which is gonna refer to the div element going to say const uh, square equals document dot get element by ID and then pass in square one like that now we're simply just going to do this square dot style dot opacity equals zero so that is changing the opacity property of the square so it's currently set at one uh, by default, um, but this is changing the opacity to zero. Let's now refresh the browser and give it a go. Press this one, boom, fades away. All right, and that is how you can use JavaScript in order to trigger your CSS3 transitions. Thank you for watching and see you later.